In the beginning of the 1980s, the United States fell into a deep recession. About 50% of businesses were going bankrupt and 10% of workers were now unemployed. The farmers were hit the hardest, though. Agricultural exports sharply declined. The price of crops drastically fell and interest rates hit sky high. The farmers were bombarded with several serious droughts throughout 1986 and 1988. To make matters worse, the federal deficit rose to $221 million and the stock market crashed in 1987. People started questioning the actual stability of the economy. Luckily, the economy rebounded in 1983 and the U.S. stayed in a stable economic growth for five years. The Federal Reserve was efficient in keeping inflation down. <laughs> Dang it. For the inflation stayed under 5% throughout the recession and the economic growth. When it comes to the politics in the 1980s, Ronald Reagan must be mentioned. Reagan and his policies of conservatism ruled the 1980s politics. The former actor Reagan was a natural in front of the media's cameras as well as his wife Nancy. Elected with Let's Make America Great Again as a slogan, Reagan's policies of tax cuts cuts to social programs, and increased military spending formed the backbone of his economic plan called Reaganomics. After Reagan served two terms, his former vice president, George Bush, was elected president and continued most of Reagan's policies. During this time, attempts to sway women voters took higher priority, including the appointment of the first woman to, woman to the U.S. Supreme Court. Even though the 80s seemed to be full of fun, there were still many domestic issues that faced the American public. Most of these issues related to the economy. Reagan's main policies focused on economics and included lowering government spending, reducing taxes, lowering regulations, and controlling the money supply to reduce inflation. Drug use was at a high point in the 80s, no pun intended. Although many people were involved in drug use, the President and the First Lady thought otherwise. First Lady Nancy Reagan made this her main cause and fully supported the War on Drugs bill that put $1.7 billion into fighting drug use. Unlike many former presidents, Reagan opposed the civil rights movements. While he was President, there were not too many bills that helped. Most of the time, Congress overrode Reagan's veto of a civil rights bill. Reagan did very little for African Americans and women while in office, but he did, only to gain a little more popularity, appoint Sandra Day O'Connor as a Supreme Court Justice, as mentioned previously. In the 80s, the foreign policy was mostly dominant throughout Reagan and Bush's presidencies. One of their priorities included making it the U.S look powerful to all other countries. Reagan deployed U.S. forces where democracy was threatened. Reagan also deployed naval ships to Libya after they, a, threatened, us. they threatened us. Meanwhile, Bush <laughs> also was demolished because East Germany Bush also ordered the Berlin Wall to be demolished because East Germany had come out of communism. Pop culture. Coming out of the disaster known as disco, pop music took a turn for the better in the 80s. Punk bands like Black Flag and The Clash and Kiss rocked underground concert venues while a new television station called MTV revolutionized the music industry and rocketed to start of new artists like Madonna and Michael Jackson. The King of Pop remains the highest selling pop artist of all time with hit songs such as Beat It, Man in the Mirror, and Thriller. The totally awesome 80s were a time of experimentation and fashion. Hairstyles like the mullet pushed the boundaries of tastefulness while Madonna wannabes caked on the makeup. Neon colors were a bold statement, and most teenagers owned at least one Swatch watch. 
aviator and Ray-Ban sunglasses were the epitome of coolness, and acid wash denim clothing was considered radical. Girls wore leg warmers over leggings, while guys proudly wore their members' only jacket. Teenagers flocked to video arcades armed with rolls of quarters to play Pac-Man or Donkey Kong. Nearly every household owned at least one Rubik's Cube, though few people were actually able to solve the impossible puzzle. The Transformers also ruled the cartoon world in toy aisles. Thanks to the improvements in the area of special effects, the 80s were the dawn of action movies. Hits like The Terminator and Ghostbusters may not have won an Academy Award, but they broke box office sales records. One of the most iconic movies of the 80s was Ferris Bueller's Day Off, featuring the great city of Chicago. A group of young actors called the Brat Pack ruled the theaters for most of the 80s with teen movies such as Breakfast Club, Breakfast Club. Platoon continued the tradition of America's love affair with war movies by capturing the Academy Award for Best Picture in 1986.